Hello students, in this lecture I will talk about linear models of random signals. Let us recall the last lecture, the generalized PSD SXZ of a regular WSS process XN can be factorized as SXZ is equal to sigma V square into HCZ into HCZ inverse, where HCZ is a causal minimum phase transfer function, HCZ inverse is an anti-causal maximum phase transfer function and sigma V square is a constant which can be interpreted as the variance of a white noise. As a consequence, we can model a regular random process as an output of a minimum phase linear filter with white noise as input that is uh, this is the white noise V n of variance sigma square, this is input to a linear minimum phase filter of transfer function HCZ and output is the WSS process XN. This lecture will explore some of such models. The most elementary model is the white noise. Recall that a white noise process V n has 0 mean because its power spectrum is flat. So, there is no DC component, it is a 0 mean and the autocorrelation function ACF is given by this R V of m is equal to sigma V square delta m. So, delta m equal to 1 at m is equal to 0, 0 elsewhere. Now, about any non-zero any non-zero mean uncorrelated process, suppose the process is not zero mean, but it is uncorrelated. In that case, the process becomes zero mean after the subtraction of the mean. So, therefore, uh, any uncorrelated sequence of random variables also can be treated as white noise, because any non-zero mean uncorrelated process becomes zero mean after the subtraction of the mean. Hence, any uncorrelated sequence, uncorrelated means uh, that auto covariance function is delta function that also after subtraction of mean it will become zero mean therefore, it will also become a white noise. So, uh, the definition of white noise include uh, zero mean, but any non-zero mean uncorrelated random process also can be modeled as white noise. Now, random data with very small correlation between samples can be modeled as white noise. That means, we have suppose uh, x n is one sample and x m is another sample and if the covariance between them is equal to 0 for n not equal to m, then we can treat this data as white noise. Now, let us go to linear models. Spectral factorization theorem enables us to model a regular random process as an output of a minimum phase linear filter with white noise as input. That is, V n is the input to a linear minimum phase system with transfer function H C Z and X n is the output which is a WSS process. In general, now uh, if we consider the a uh, transfer function of a causal minimum phase LTI system and it will have one numerator part and denominator part. So, it is a uh, ratio of n z divided by d z. Now, this n z part we can write as summation i going from 0 to q b i z to the power minus i. This is the numerator part. Similarly, the denominator part we can write as 1 minus summation i going from 1 to p a i z to the power minus i. So, this is the general transfer function and depending on uh, special situations, we will have different models. For example, if d z is equal to 1, if this is 1 then a z will be simply that numerator part will be there. In that case, we have all 0 moving average model. So, this is a 
suppose because there are q terms i is equal to i going from 0 to q therefore, this is a moving average of order q m a q model when dz is equal to 1 that means only numerator term is there. When n z is equal to 1 then only denominator part is there in that case we will have poles. So, we have the all pole auto regressive this model is known as the auto regressive uh, regressive model of order p this is the p parameter. So, auto regressive model of order p and this is because it has only denominator polynomial. So, that will have uh, poles. So, this is an all pole model. Otherwise, this general model will be ARMA auto regressive moving average in terms of parameters P and Q model, ARMA PQ model. Now, in the time domain, this ARMA PQ model can be described by a linear constant coefficient difference equation. So, this is a difference equation in terms of the difference we are getting the equation therefore, x n that is the output variable x n is equal to summation a i x of n minus i i going from 1 to p that is the uh, auto regressive part plus summation b j v of n minus j j going from 1 to q. So, this is the linear constant coefficient difference equation model for the ARMA PQ process. P is the number of auto regressive part that means it tells about the auto regressive, regressive part and it tells about the moving average part. These models are very useful they are used data compression signal prediction one of the very important use of this type of model is forecasting or prediction, signal understanding etcetera. In statistics random process modeling using difference equations is known as time series analysis. In stochastic finance for example, we have uh, time series analysis. Time series analysis means we analyze the models the, uh, given by this type of uh, difference equation. Uh, such models has long been used in signal modeling and forecasting. So, their uh, main purpose was earlier it was uh, that is signal modeling and forecasting, but nowadays uh, these models are used in many signal processing application like speech recognition etcetera. So, we will discuss first moving average of order q. As I have told earlier, this is a FIR filter model. So, there is the white noise is the input and Xn that is the WSS process is the output. Difference equation will be uh, Xn is equal to summation B i V n minus i i going from 0 to q. This is the M a q process. Thus, impulse response H i is equal to B i how many impulse responses are there? There are q plus 1 i is equal to 0, 1 up to q. And in the uh, transform domain frequency domain that frequency response h omega is given by b naught plus b 1 into e to the power minus j omega plus b 2 into e to the power minus j 2 omega and so on up to b q into e to the power minus j q omega this is the uh, frequency response of the FIR filter representing the MAQ process. In terms of Z transform we will have H z is equal to B naught plus B 1 into Z to the power minus 1 plus up to B Q into Z to the power minus Q. Thus MAQ is an all zero model because there is only uh, that transfer function has only the numerator term therefore, it is an all zero model. We know that if it is a WSS process it is characterized by its autocorrelation function and corresponding power spectral density. We will see what is the ACF autocorrelation function and PSD power spectral density 
of an MAQ process. The autocorrelation function Rx of m, we know that Rx of m is equal to Rvm convolved with Hm convolved with H of minus m. We uh, derive this relationship while studying response of a linear system to WSS input. So, there we establish that that output autocorrelation function is the convolution of input autocorrelation function H m and H of minus m, H m is the impulse response of the system. So, now I know that R v m because it is the input is white noise, R v m is sigma v square into delta m. So, therefore, R x m will be sigma v square delta m convolved with H m convolved with H of minus m, but this is sigma delta function and any function convolve you will get the same function therefore, this, this will be sigma v square h m convolved with h of minus m. Now, use the properties of convolution. So, you know because you are two finite duration sequence you are convolving therefore, r x of m will become 0 for mod of m greater than q and uh, if we substitute because I know the pulse responses are the B parameters. So, if we substitute those and this expression can be simplified to R x of m is equal to summation j uh, equal to 0 to q minus m of b j into b j plus m into sigma v square for m lying between 0 and q. So, this is the expression for autocorrelation function and R x of minus m is equal to R x of m. This is the basic property of autocorrelation function of a WSS signal. Therefore, R x of minus m is equal to R x of m. Therefore, generalizing these two expression we can write R x of m is equal to summation j going from 0 to q minus mod of m of b j into b j plus mod of m into sigma v square, where mod of m is less than equal to q is equal to 0 otherwise. This is the expression for the autocorrelation function of a MAQ process. Now, the power spectral density P s d is given by S x omega that is the P s d of x, x n S x omega is equal to sigma v square multiplied by mod of h omega square that is we establish that relationship. Now, I know h of omega is equal to b 0 plus b 1 e to the power minus j omega plus up to b q into e to the power minus j omega q. So, therefore, mod of this expression square into sigma v square. So, this is the power spectral density of an MAQ process. So, we got the uh, autocorrelation function given by this expression and power spectral density given by this expression. Now, how do I fit an MAQ model? An FIR filter has zeros only. So, if the spectrum has some values then MA uh, will fit well because if we consider suppose FIR filter it will have 0 and those zeros will give rise to value in the spectrum. I will uh, show an example later on. An MA model is always stationary. Why? Because FIR filter is always stable and correspondingly uh, XN will be also WSS because HN is stable and XN is the output of the stable system and therefore, uh, to a white noise this output will be also stable and stable in the uh, sense of random process it will be stationary. So, therefore, an MA model is always stationary WSS in this case. R x of m becomes 0 for legs greater than q. This is a test for an MAQ process. Suppose, uh, in an MAQ process if we pl plot the autocorrelation function after some lag 
uh, this autocorrelation function will drop down to 0 and that point is the order of the MAQ process. Next point is Rx of m is related by a non-linear relationship. This is the trouble uh, with the model parameters, B parameters, the relationship is like this. Rx of m is equal to summation Bj, Bj plus m sigma v square j going from 0 to q minus m. So, this is the relationship between autocorrelation function and the model parameters. And therefore, uh, model parameters are related with autocorrelation function in a nonlinear manner and finding out this coefficients by solving nonlinear equations when suppose data is noisy, this will be a complex problem. Therefore, fitting an MAQ model is difficult. We will give an example MA2 process. The model is given by Xn, this is the WSS signal equal to B0 into Vn plus B1 into Vn minus 1 plus B2 into Vn minus 2. Therefore, 2 is the uh, value of Q. So, three parameters are there B0, B1 and B2. Vn can be considered as unit variance white noise because any variance is there that can be considered in terms of B0. We know the formula for autocorrelation function of a moving, uh, moving average process. So, we will get Rx of 0 is equal to sigma x square is equal to B0 square plus B1 square plus B2 square. Rx of minus 1 that will be also equal to Rx of 1 is equal to now if we put the formula our formula here this formula if we put that we will get Rx of 1 is equal to B0 into B1 plus B1 into B2. Similarly, Rx of minus 2 is equal to Rx of 2 is equal to B0 into B2 these are the auto non-zero autocorrelation values and Rx of m will be equal to 0 for m greater than 2 the power spectral density will be given by sigma v square into because this transfer function is B0 plus B1 into e to the power minus j omega plus B2 into e to the power minus j2 omega mod of that whole square. So, that will be the a mod of h omega square this quantity is the mod of h omega square mod of h omega square. So, this part is the mod of h omega square and therefore, this is the expression for the power spectral density of a moving average process of order 2. If we plot this autocorrelation function, we will get a plot like this autocorrelation after lag suppose this is 0, 1 and 2 after that autocorrelation function have become 0. And if we consider the plot of S x omega versus omega between minus pi and pi because it is periodic with period 2 pi. So, uh, uniquely defined only between minus pi and pi and we see that there is a uh, valley portion here. So, that is a characteristic of a uh, moving average spectrum. ACF vanishes after lag to PSD shows a valley region. So, this type of if suppose your observed spectrum has this type of uh, behavior then we can model it by a MAQ process. So, we discussed about moving average process and now let us see what is an auto regressive model auto regressive ARP auto regressive model of order P. In this case the filter defining the random process is an IIR filter and all all pole filter that is important. So, uh, this is the V n is the white noise and X n is the WSS process. ARP model uh, is therefore, X n is equal to summation A i X of n minus i i going from 1 to p plus V n. So, this present output Xn is considered as a 
linear combination of past outputs plus this is the input term that is white noise is the input term and corresponding transfer function is given by 1 by 1 minus summation a i z to the power minus i i going from 1 to p. So, this is the transfer function of this i r filter. Now, in this case it is a uh, it is an i r filter. So, there are poles this expression will result in poles therefore, uh, this is an all pole model a i z are to be uh, properly chosen for stability of a z and hence stationarity of x n. If a z is stable then only this x n sequence will be stationary. So, therefore, we have to select a i s such that the poles of this filter lies inside the unit circle. So, we have discussed what is an ARP model. Now, let us see what is HCF autocorrelation function and PSD of an ARP process. We have to find the HCF autocorrelation function and the power spectral density PSD of an ARP process. You know that R x of m autocorrelation at lag m is equal to E of x n into x of n plus m. Now, x of n plus m can be considered in terms of its previous output that way x of n plus m we are writing as x of n plus m is equal to summation a i x of n plus m minus i plus v of n plus m i going from 1 to p. So, this model we are fitting here and then we are taking the expectation inside. So, we will get summation i going from 1 to p of a i into e of x of n plus m minus i x of n plus m minus i into x n this x n plus uh, now next is uh, this term e of v of n plus m into x n. Uh, now, uh, this term because uh, x n is a WSS process therefore, this quantity will depend only on the lag n plus m minus i minus n that will be simply equal to m minus i. So, summation a i into r x m minus i, i going from 1 to p. So, r x of m is equal to summation a i r x of m minus i, i going from 1 to p plus. Now, this quantity expected value of v of n plus m into x n that will give us this expression sigma v square into delta m. How? Because e of v of n plus m uh, into x n we can write as uh, suppose summation a i x of n minus i i going from 1 to p plus v n. Now, these are the past signals and this is the future input. So, they are uncorrelated because uh, this x n i uh, will depend on the previous inputs only it will not depend on future input therefore, this and this expression will be uncorrelated and here v n and v of n plus m will be uncorrelated, but there will be a uh, finite value that variance value corresponding to m is equal to 0. Therefore, this expression e of v of n plus m into v n can be written as sigma v square into delta m because when m is equal to 0 there will be a value, value uh, e of v of n plus m that is e of v n into v n that way sigma v square will come otherwise it, it will become 0. Therefore, we have now uh, that r x of m r x of m is equal to summation i going from 1 to p a i r x of m minus i all the, this p previous autocorrelation value plus sigma v square into delta m. This is the equation this is for all integer values of m. So, that way we get a set of linear equations in terms of the autocorrelation functions. 
this set of linear equations are known as Yule Walker equations and they can be solved to find out the values of A i s. Now, how to find out the power spectral density by S x omega is equal to sigma v square into mod of h omega square and if I substitute a mod of h omega square we will get sigma v square divided by mod of 1 minus summation a i e to the power minus j omega i i going from 1 to p whole square mod of this quantity whole square. So, this is the power spectral density of the ARP process. So, uh, this is the denominator term because it is an all pole filter, these are the filter coefficients. So, that way uh, we will uh, get this expression mod of 1 minus summation a i e to the power minus j omega i i going from 1 to p whole square. So, we will see what is the uh, autocorrelation function, how they are related with the model parameters and how power spectral density is related with the model parameters. Fitting an ARP model, because ARP model is an all pole model, if PSD has sharp peaks then ARP model will fit it well. Rx of m is related with model parameters in terms of Yule Walker equation. So, that also we know this is a linear set of equation therefore, solving this set of equation is easy thus fitting an ARP model is easy. We will consider one example AR 1 process. This difference equation is x n equal to a 1 x of n minus 1 plus v n and corresponding h z will be equal to 1 by 1 minus a 1 into z inverse. So, this is a only one pole is there at that is equal to a 1. You will work our equation if we substitute uh, p is equal to 1 in the you will work our equation, we will get the you will work our equation uh, that is r x of m will be equal to a 1 into r x of m minus 1 plus sigma v square into delta m. We know this expression r x of m is equal to this from this my p is 1 therefore, only one term will be there and this term will be there. So, that way uh, r x of m is equal to a 1 times r x of m minus 1 plus sigma v square into delta m for all m belonging to z set of integers. And R x of 0, therefore, if we put m is equal to 0, that will be equal to R x of minus 1 plus sigma v square. And second equation R x of 1 is equal to a 1 into R x of 0, that is the when we put m is equal to 1, when m is equal to 0, we get this, but we know that R x of minus 1 is also equal to R x of 1. From 1 and 2, we will get a 1 is equal to r x of 1 divided by r x of 0. This is the uh, value of a r coefficient a 1. a 1 is equal to r x of 1 divided by r x of 0. And we can determine also uh, uh, that relationship, uh, we have to find out what is the variance of the white noise suppose that is sigma v square will be equal to sigma x square into 1 minus a i square. So, this is one equation, this is another equation, two unknowns are there a 1 and sigma v square. So, a 1 and sigma v square can be found out from r x 1 and r x 0. So, we have found out what is a 1 that is equal to r x of 1 divided by r x of 0 and sigma v square, this sigma v square is equal to sigma x square into 1 minus a 1 square. Now, we have a difference equation r x of m is equal to a 1 r x of m minus 1 plus sigma v square into delta m. This is the difference equation and I know what is r x of 0, r x of 0 it is related with sigma v square that is this one is r x of 0, sigma v square is equal to r x of 0 
into 1 minus a square therefore Rx of 0 is equal to sigma v square divided by 1 minus a 1 square. And if I solve uh, this set of difference equation with the initial condition and we will find out this solution for the autocorrelation function. So, it will be uh, exponentially decreasing uh, function. So, we can uh, plot this autocorrelation function this is the uh, plot of autocorrelation function for different values of m. So, it will gradually going down and similarly this power spectral density in this case pole is at, at uh, that is real axis pole is a real number therefore, uh, it will have a, a sharp peak at origin only 0 frequency only this is the power spectral uh, density plot of a typical AR1 process and this is the typical autocorrelation plot. Uh, now, one important interpretation of AR process as the Markov process. Consider the AR1 process that is Xn is equal to A1 X of n minus 1 plus Vn. Then probability of Xn is equal to X given Suppose A x of n minus i is equal to x i, i is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. These all these are given. Then uh, I know that uh, that is uh, probability of x n is equal to x, that is same as v n will be equal to, oh, we can write it is equal to v n, probability of v n is equal to x minus a 1 x 1 because when I put x of n minus 1 that will be equal to x 1. So, if x of n minus 1 is equal to x 1, x of n minus 1 is equal to x 1 then what will be v n? v n will be x n is equal to x therefore, v n will be equal to x minus a 1 x 1. So, this conditional probability is same as probability of v n is equal to x minus a 1 x 1 and uh, the same result we will get if we only consider one term probability of x n is equal to x given that x of n minus 1 is equal to x 1 then also we will get the same expression. Therefore, uh, this conditional probability given all the previous value is same as the conditional probability given the immediate pass x of n minus 1 is equal to x 1. Such a model is known as the Markov model thus AR 1 is a Markov model and this interpretation has wide application. Uh, let us summarize the uh, lecture. A general ARMA PQ model is mathematically described by a linear constant coefficient difference equation. So, x n is equal to summation i going from 1 to p of a i x of n minus i plus there will be moving average part summation uh, j going from 1 to q of b j into v of n minus j. This is the general ex expression for air ARMA PQ model which uh, we derive from the spectral factorization theorem. Then we considered moving average process which has only numerator part in the filter. So, an MAQ model is given by x n is equal to summation i going from 0 to q b i into v of n minus i. This is the model for the uh, MAQ process, moving average process of order q. The ACF autocorrelation function R x m of an MAQ process is related by a nonlinear relationship with the model parameters. What are the model parameters? These bi's are the model parameters, they are related with the autocorrelation function. We can find out them from the autocorrelation function that is R x of m is given by summation j going from 0 to q minus m b j into b j plus m into sigma v square where m uh, lies between 0 and q and R x m for an, an MAQ process vanishes after like q. Okay, this is these two factors are important 
and this is a nonlinear relationship because of that fitting a fitting an MAQ model is difficult. The all pull model ARP is given by ARP auto regressive process of order P is given by x n is equal to summation i going from 1 to p a i into x of n minus i plus v n. So, here uh, in the filter model only denominator part will be there that is why it is an all pole model. The ACF and the air parameters are related by the Yule Walker equation these are the Yule Walker equations Yule Walker equation because for different values of m we will get a set of equation which are uh, difference equation in terms of uh, the autocorrelation function. So, that way we will have a number of equation suppose there are p parameters or there one more parameter is sigma v square to solve them we can consider p plus 1 equation out of them and we can find out those value and solving those equations are uh, not difficult because they are uh, linear equations and the PSD is given by this S x of omega is equal to sigma v square divided by mod of h omega square that is equal to sigma v square divided by mod of 1 minus summation uh, i going from 1 to p a i into e to the power minus j omega i whole square. Uh, simplest AR model we discussed that is the AR1 model which is given by Xn is equal to A1 into X of n minus 1 plus Vn where mod of A1 is less than 1 that is the requirement for stationarity. AR1 is a Markov process that also we established. Thank you.